Hey guys, Vico here. Welcome back to the channel. Are you thinking of creating your own World of Tanks Blitz replay or tank review? Are you cheap like me, or perhaps stubborn? Do you have an older PC, not intended for gaming? Are you interested in sharing your game content but have no desire to post videos for a living? Follow these easy steps to make a cheap video without having to spend any money. Step 1. Go to www.bandicam.com. Once you're at bandicam.com, you can choose the free download or the get full version, and it guides you through the entire process. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, there's a little watermark, uh, the bandicam.com at the top. You're, if you get the free version, it's going to be there, and the time frame is only limited to about, I think, 10 minutes for a video. Fine for World of Tanks Blitz, but if you want to do a full review that extends past the seven minute blitz game you're gonna wanna pay the fifteen dollars US for the full version of Bandicam. So Bandicam isn't so difficult to use you'll see here uh, if you wanna set up which folder you wanna save it to you just click here and then you can browse whatever folder you wanna put the particular video that you are actually um, making and then my, my hotkey is F9 to start and stop recording or pause. You can do screen captures or screenshots. What I really like is you can set it up so that you can speak while recording. So this is recording the background. This is recording my microphone. You can also set up a webcam. If I set this up, I should have my webcam video down here or my webcam square then I can turn it off it might not have worked <laughs> um, you can set it up so that you can have your show mouse cursor so you can actually see my mouse or I can turn it off no mouse it's it's all up to you it's quite easy to use it's simple easy to follow directions you can set up how you want the video to look you can use MP4 AVI depending on what kind of computer you use. I use a PC, a very old Hewlett Packard standalone single unit PC, <laughs> not a gaming computer. It's quite easy to use. Um, so, and, and if you, while you're playing a game, while you're playing World of Tanks Blitz, I'll get into why you need to do game recording mode versus windowed mode like it is now. So, it's not too bad. So the next part's the most tricky part. I don't use PowerDirector or anything fancy that you can get from the web. I use your default Microsoft Movie Maker for my videos. As you can see here, I have my, my intro that I use generally with most videos. And uh, this was my STI video that I did uh, recently. Uh, you include the music which is what I use to record separately because I, I record my blitz game first then I record the intro the only thing you really need to do is ensure that you sync it I love properly. it you can change themes you can change like for my when I went into mines it's as simple as fade to black okay. or fade into see it fades uh, I have one at the end when I gave my little thanks. You can even do transitions. It's quite simple. Yes, but what about recording your game footage? Well, we're going to get to that. It depends. I use an old, old iPad Mini, and uh, it's starting to age enough that lag is anywhere in my house with the Wi-Fi. So what you're about to see is based off of the iPad platform going to a PC. You need to go to mirroring360.com. As my iPad isn't jailbroken and I don't have AirShoe, another app you can use uh, to a Mac computer to mirror, I have to rely on, on transmitting my game footage onto mirroring 360 and 
all the directions are there. It's easy to follow. But another window pops up on the screen, and then I use Bandicam tailored and, and shrunken. Like I'm about to shrink the screen here like that. I shrink it to accommodate the the mirroring 360 image and I record that. That's how I'm able to get my Blitz videos up. After you've done everything I showed you, it's as simple as uploading to YouTube. All you have to do is render it after that with Windows Movie Maker and everything else is up to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I can answer. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe. If you're interested in sponsoring the channel, there's a link above and below. Until next time, I'll see you guys out there.